Hello, it's Caroline here from Useful Graphic Design Tutorials. And in today's video, we're going to show you how to select hard to get at images or text. And that could be where uh, text is lying directly underneath something else. And we're going to use the Alt key to do this. I have it on good authority that a Mac, uh, sorry, an Alt on a Mac machine behaves in a slightly different way to Windows. So if you're using a, a Mac, then I suggest you take a look at our video, Four Different Ways to Select an Object, which covers, you know, ways in which you're going to be able to do that on a Mac. To find that video, you can go to our website and sign up for our Inkscape videos. The details of the website are on the screen now. Uh, but for those of you who have already signed up and you might have missed this one, you can go to our YouTube channel and the name there is Graphic Design Tuts. Okay, so let's crack on. On the screen we've got a header actually, a banner, um, whatever you want to call it, and I've placed a, a, a gradient on it. We're going to cover gradients today because we do that in previous videos. But I am going to put some text on, so let's go over to the Create and Edit Text and I'm going to put on the newsletter. I'm going to select the text and I'm going to grab hold of the handle here and drag it so it's larger and I'm going to then place it on top of the banner. I'm going to actually change that text and I'm going to then highlight it, select it, Go up to the view and select font family, click on there, and I'm going to use Arial rounded. Let's just have a look at it here. Okay, I'm going to bold it and apply and close. Now, uh, if I'm going through this a little bit quickly, it's because we've already covered these techniques several times and they're in lots of videos that we have done. So I've just resized that a little bit. Okay, now I've selected it and I'm going to highlight, uh, sorry, I'm going to duplicate that and I do that by right clicking. So click on duplicate. So now what we've got is we've got two images, if you like, of text, two newsletter text. I'm going to change that top one to white and I'm going to do that by going down to the color bar here. And then I'm going to place that white one behind the black one to create a sort of a drop shadow. And to do that, I'll go up to the lower selection one step button here and it tucks it behind. OK, so now I'm going to just use the keyboard keys to move that white bottom um, text slightly to the right to create a, a shadow. And definitely with this sort of thing, less is more. It's much more effective to have something like that than something like that, where you can't actually read it. It's tricky to do that, so let's go back there. OK, now this is the bit I want to show you. Uh, so we've got two layers of text here, and I want to be able to select the other one. And to try and do that is, a, OK, you can do that, but it's a little tricky. But the easiest way to do it is hold down the Alt key and then press a click with your mouse. and you see it goes through them. So that's one, two, that's the next one, that's the white actually, and then the, 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 the rectangle. And that's really all there is to it. And you might think, well, that's not hugely effective with something like this. Well, perhaps it isn't, but the more intricate your work becomes, where you have to specifically pick out certain parts of the, the image, you will find it to be most helpful. OK, so that's the end of the video. If you have found this particularly useful, then please do share it. Or if you have any question or comments, pop over to our fan page on Facebook, the details of which are on the screen now, and ask any questions that you might have there. That way everybody can learn from the questions and the answers. OK, so that's goodbye from me for now.